Gene Brown, mayor of Bradenton, Florida. Mayor Brown's with us now. Mayor, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Uh, the eye of Milton came ashore, what, about 20 miles south of you there in Bradenton. You're, you're on the mainland, but you're near where we just had a reporter in Bradenton Beach. What's the situation on the ground? Well, we're, we have our waterway, Manatee River, which we actually go out towards the, the Bradenton Beach, Holmes Beach area. My dad actually has a home he was born in in the 1947 on Bradenton Beach. So my family's been here for seven generations, Manatee County. So it's been our whole life. And we had 700 homes in the city of Bradenton have water in them from the storm surge for lean. Now they got hit again and they got the whole uh, city this time. So it's, you know, not as much water damage, but a lot of storm wind damage. We got trees down right now. We had an area that had um, a, a pipe break, a main break, so they don't have any water. We've got our city staff out, volunteers, giving water out to the residents so they could have at least some drinking water while we fix the damaged pipe. Yeah, and you're talking about concerns around water. Walk us through some of your other major concerns. We've heard about boil water advisories, power well, I think outages. When you look at it, we've had, yeah, we've had so much water since um, June, July, and August. We had almost 50 inches of rainwater that saturated our ground. Then we had Helene come in and actually put six feet of storm surge. And then now this rainstorm, you know, it's affecting our wastewater. It's affecting our drinking water. So we're just we're doing everything we can to maintain our systems, and which it's affecting everywhere. The background, you hear a generator going. That's at one of our pumps, lift stations, because the power's out in Manatee County and city of Bradenton. We had almost 250,000 people, and they're slowly starting to get power back. But power and water is everything, and we're trying to get that to the residents as quick as possible. And, and has the storm surge or the water that was, you know, inundating places, that all receded at this point, or are there people that are still in danger, you know, and needing rescue? No. Yeah, our river is, is hasn't crested yet, but the storm surge wasn't as bad with Milton as it was with Aline, but the saturation is there. All of our ponds... All of the stormwater areas, there's still streets not too far from where I'm standing. They still have a foot of water on them. So okay. it's just not receding like it normally does because we're so saturated from the, this, this whole season um, since June. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.